So it's Independence Week here in the US, so I thought it'd be fun to take a black powder rifle out to the range. I got a flintlock, I got my Hawken. It's actually a 50 caliber rifle, believe it or not. You're used to seeing the 50 BMG. Well, I got a different kind of 50 cal for you today. Uh, it's around about that era. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when the Hawken's from, but uh, you know, flintlocks are always fun to take out to the range if you can keep them going. Uh, it's gonna be raining, so hopefully it won't get, my powder won't get wet. I'll keep my powder dry. Uh, we'll set up some, some watermelons and some fun stuff out there. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some product shots today. We got some new coffee coming out. And uh, yeah, I got a bulletproof plate. So let's see what that, that dude will do to it, right? Um, and being that it's uh, Independence Week and uh, tyranny and freedom are all the subjects of conversation lately, um, I've been having some issues with YouTube. Go figure. I try to stay as apolitical as, as possible and strictly entertain you guys and, and keep the politics of what's going on behind the scenes on the channel and everything. But unfortunately, the last couple of weeks, I don't know if you've seen the uh, lack there of uploading, but there's been some, some struggles and I can't escalate any of the issues that I'm having. I'm trying to go through support and all this other stuff and they keep to keep like taking down my videos or flagging them um, because of the firearms related content. And even the M31 video that I did didn't have any firearms in it. It still got flagged. Um, so trying to navigate some of those issues. So I really appreciate you guys who uh, support the channel through being a member or sharing or however however it is that you're, you're helping out and everything. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do moving forward is I'm just gonna be completely transparent with you guys. I'm gonna let you know what's going on behind the scenes. I'm gonna let you know how much that video cost down to the details of like this bulletproof plate cost me 400 bucks. Ammo cost this. So it cost approximately $1,500, $2,000, whatever it is to make that video. This is the advertising revenue. This is when it got demonetized. I know that's a little excessive. I'll try to distill it down for you, but I, I just want everyone to know what these these, these frustrations that YouTube is, um, you know, on a regular basis and the big double standard that they have with other channels where the, the hypocrisy is just, it's, it's, it's mind numbingly frustrating. But anyways, I try to keep it positive, but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that there, there have been some, some hurdles in getting content here on the channel to you here in the last few weeks. So uh, for all you members on, on the channel and everything, make sure you're checking your community feed because there's going to be close to like 50 slow motion videos that I'm gonna be uploading and I'll probably be uploading some of the, the footage of videos yet to come and everything in that playlist. So that's gonna be on the channel page. But anyways, let's get to the range and uh, let's see if we can get this this black powder, this, this black powder going. You want to talk about everything going wrong on one shot. Uh, the flex, which is 4K, generally in the ballpark of anywhere from 120 to 1,000 frames per second or a couple thousand frames per second if in 1080. Uh, that ended up messing up on that shot. The 2512, generally I'm in the range of 10,000 to 120,000 frames per second on that guy. I exposed for 
a specific shot and then right when I went to pull the trigger, the cloud broke and so it overexposed the high speed or super high speed shot. And then to top it off, I was atrocious on that shot. Normally you're like, oh yeah, man, he's a good shot. I sucked that shot up. I mean, that was, that was pretty bad, pretty bad. All right, for this next shot, got something hopefully that's gonna be a little bit easier than the last one. Uh, if I screw this one up, there's a problem because I'm gonna be shooting our ECS or exclusive coffee club subscription at Black Rifle Coffee. What I'm out here doing is for some of you guys, um, I'm one of the co-founders or VP of media strategy at uh, Black Rifle. And uh, one of the things I do while I'm out here at the range is just film ads for Instagram. So if you see a slow-mo bag hit, or if you see something on Facebook or you know Google ads and stuff like that, generally a lot of those slow-mo hits and things like that come from me while I'm out here at the range shooting a full mag video so you can see a flintlock rifle shoot a Kevlar plate. I'm also doubling down on this month's ECS roast, which is Liberty. It actually goes out to Jim Pop this month. So all of you guys who aren't in the ECS actually get an opportunity to try one of our, our special roasts and everything. Shout out to Black Rifle Coffee, come on. So uh, I'm gonna set up here and uh, I'm gonna just put the flintlock rifle point blank. And uh, if I miss this, <laughs> I don't know. I just, just go home. <laughs> Go home, you drunk. Bam! Well, that was a good shot. I mean, I was I was a, a YouTuber on that one. YouTube firearms expert shot right there, where you can see, you know, they got those guys that go down range and they're like shooting you and they see, oh, wow, it's a good group. Oh, there's powder burns on your target. Definitely close on that dude. But that was a pretty good shot. I mean, you know, hide over bore, right? <laughs> no, it's a... Uh, Man, that smells so good. That is a that is a tragedy. That is a waste of coffee right there. But you know what? I think that might make a pretty good asset. I think that uh, I may try a couple more shots out here. So if you see one of these running as an ad on IG, Facebook, or something like that, I want you to screenshot it. And let me know which one that you see because I may mix it up. I may do. Uh, I keep, I keep spilling here. I keep spilling. <laughs> I may make a few more assets, and then if you uh, if you see it, let me know. Let me know. I might I might send you I might send you something. But you got to screenshot which one it is, and then uh, no promises. No promises here. I keep leaking. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the uh, ballistics plate. Let's see what happens. Ready?
All right, let's check this dude out. Now, part of me was thinking that I might actually uh, get to see the, the round, but it is it is lead, right? So this thing's just gonna probably flatten on this Kevlar here. What is this, uh, ceramic plate? Um, yeah, it looks like, looks like there's a little bit of the ball right there at the front of it. I don't know if I can get close enough with this, this dude here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull that guy out, but yeah, it flattened it, flattened it nice. A little, little dude there. So it's good to know, you know, if you, you went back into the Civil War, you wanted to wear one of these, these heavy plates. How much is this? Like, this is, yeah. If it'll stop a 7.62 ball ammo, I think it'll stop a, a flintlock rifle, right? You know, I was, I was a little bit worried that because with the, the first shot, I was so low on the uh, flintlock rifle, just at the, on the watermelon at that distance. I don't know what the deal is while I was off, but uh, the, the second shot on the bag and everything, great. Uh, but I was point blank. So walking it out like 20, 30 yards, not that big of a deal. Um, I did do one episode where I shot the wick off of a candle at some old school full mag, maybe even was rated RR back then. Uh, if you want to see a video with me and Donnie Vincent out at the range, he, he shot the wick off of a uh, candle uh, with a bow. And then I shot the wick off with the same exact Hawk and Flintlock rifle because we were doing a thing for the Revenant or something. I don't know. I'm just rambling on. Now we went from, went from shooting a Flintlock in the snow to the Texas summer heat. Yeah, you like that shirt, don't you? Get it at blackriflecoffee.com. Tell your mama said hi. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't know why I resorted to that. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm just like insulting you. To, hey man, you want to buy something? Here's an insult. <laughs> Bam! Bam! <laughs> She's excited. She's excited. Shout out to all the new members of the Wolf Pack if you guys want early access to videos if you want uh, avatars next to your name in the comments section or all the little badges next to your name or if you want to see all the slow-mo clips I'm taking and putting probably close to 50 of them up this week on the members only uh, portion of the channel page and everything so you have access to that playlist and everything but if you can't do that don't worry you can always just clack the like button that helps out a lot leave a comment what you want to see uh, and more importantly you click share on the video and text it to yourself. That helps too, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I hope you really enjoy uh, the slow motion um, that I've been doing. I'm trying to get as many slow-mo clips into a video that I can. I'm trying to get these videos, videos out as quick as possible and everything. And happy Independence Day, happy 4th of July for all of you, you guys in the US and all you guys who are not. Happy first week of July. <laughs> I don't know. There was a joke there and I totally failed on it. So I'm just going to leave it at that and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Bam!